What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to talk about how life is never fair. Now if you're in the ideal circumstance, in the ideal part of the world, just maybe, just maybe the government or maybe just the, the social system you live in will allow things to be fair for you. But in general, life is not fair and it's because it was never designed to be fair. It has no rules, so the people who win out the most, whether through maybe underhanded means or fair means, will win out. And the real reason why a lot of the moral system that we live in today might say that being fair is the right way to go and the better way to go is because a lot of times when you do underhanded stuff, it ends up hurting you more and benefiting you less in the long run. One of the clear examples is lying to people, especially in a closed off, small social community. If you're constantly lying to people, sure, you might get the upper hand in the short run. Maybe you can trick someone to give you something for free, but in the long run, they'll re recognize you as a liar. They'll remember it and you're going to be scroll you're gonna be screwed by the social system because no one's gonna trust you and you're pretty much going to fail at life. But yeah, in general, if you're looking at the world as a whole, life is not fair. If you think it's completely fair and everyone is born entitled to everything and I don't care what you guys think about if this should be or not, personally I think, yeah, we should be born with equal entitlement in some instances, but a lot of the times, if you just look at the world, you will realize it's not fair. If not, why don't you go check out Africa or some third world country and look at their living conditions from the moment they're born to whatever age you are now. In fact, you're probably watching this video from a very wealthy country like the United States, and I'm pretty sure you've had it a lot better than most of the other people. So in terms of a lottery, you have technically already won in a lot of ways. However, that doesn't mean that you are better off in every means. I mean, in a lot of ways, you could be in a very, very unfortunate situation as well. Again, just more evidence that the world is not fair. I mean, you could be in an abusive relationship despite living in a very, very wealthy home. And the thing is, you shouldn't wait or hope that life will someday be fair to you. You shouldn't, you know, think to yourself that life has to be fair and everybody gets the same opportunities. Because if you do that, you will be left behind. And I'm not saying you have to use underhanded means to get ahead and stay ahead. I'm just saying that you have to take every advantage you can get when you can get it. Because a lot of people will use underhanded stuff against you and they will sometimes get away with it. I remember when I was in middle school, I mean, there's, there was this girl who constantly cheated on tests and got away with it. Why? Because she was a sweet girl and classrooms were hectic. And I knew it was very, very stupid because she got ahead and despite me saying to myself that in the long run she's gonna fall behind because she doesn't know the material and stuff, at the end of the day, it was middle school. So a lot of that stuff she really never had to learn later in life. But like I always tell myself, I always look at it optimistically and I, I always say, you know what, that girl has probably gotten into a habit of cheating and that is how she's losing out in the long run because now she's gonna rely on cheating to get ahead and it might not work out all the time, she might get caught and she's going to fall behind in life. I don't know, that's just to make me happier because back then I had a more strict moral sense and I didn't cheat even if I could. But yeah, here's another example. People use subtle signs of cheating and it permeates every crack of the system from the biggest thing to the most smallest 
subtle, vaguest thing. My mom is a great example of this. A lot of times, she will talk to me in very subtle ways to give her the advantage, although unfairly. She'll move her body language so she's not facing me and she won't look at me and she'll act like she's doing other stuff when she doesn't want to talk to me. And then she will go up to me and then just start talking and talking and talking and she will not stop until she just gets everything out and then she leaves immediately. It's almost like she's got this sort of little plan going on and it really pretty much allows her to get what she wants and then when she doesn't want to talk anymore she just up oh, leaves the situation and pretty much ends it right away and again i'm sure a lot of parents do this to you too they will use elaborate words or elaborate phrases or logical mind games that are too advanced for you i know they did it to me when i was a kid just to get their way now a lot of times parents are in fact right i mean they have what's best in mind for their kids but sometimes they're not they just want to get their way but in the long run i mean sometimes you just have to look at it from the larger scheme of things i mean sometimes parents do want the better thing even though it might not seem so say like my mom for example she will never admit that she wants me to be a doctor or anything like that but I guarantee you she has definite inclination and preference to it and she's been maybe doing a little pushing towards it and I mean the evidence is in the pudding I mean here I am a Asian male in the United States and for some reason and my dad calls it just natural inclination to these things which I don't necessarily agree to but I play the piano I volunteered at a hospital in high school. I've done internships and my mom often tries to hook me up with internships I don't want. And I don't know, it's kind of clear. Another big example is my dad. Uh, I believe I was like six years old at the time. And he did this little mind game where I still remember it. He was like, are you sure you want to play the piano? Are you sure this is what you want to do? Is this really your passion? And he went on and on about this. And here's the thing, he had already ordered the piano and was getting it shipped when she, he was doing it this to me, uh, when he was doing this to me. So it, it kind of seemed like I was choosing to play the piano, but looking back, I realized, whoa, he had already ordered and shipped it while he was doing this psychological mind game to make me think that I myself chose to want to play the piano. Now, honestly, before everyone gets very angry at their parents, I mean, there's honestly nothing wrong with playing the piano. Sure, it did, did limit my free time every day. I mean, I had to practice sometimes up to one to two hours every day. And yeah, it really limited a lot of what I can do because I grew to a point where I really didn't like it and yeah later on in life I did realize that almost every Asian either played the piano violin or what's the other one viola and I realized that all my Asian male friends for some reason also played the piano but I mean if you look at the very very long great scheme of things I mean piano taught me a lot about music taught me a lot about life and although it seemed like I was being forced and it was unfair and it was unadvantageous and all these things it taught me a lot about culture about music about artistry and it got me a lot into just music in general and I realized that even if I hated it at times and I really wanted to quit I mean, it would have been a lot better than whatever else I would have been doing that I wanted to do at the time. Probably rotting my brain with stupid video games that probably would have gotten me nowhere in life. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure if my parents didn't sign me up for all these things that I really didn't want to do, I would be spending a lot of time playing like RuneScape on the internet. That was the game back in the day. And my brain would have been rotted. And what would I have to show for it? A stupid account with all these levels leveled up that probably wouldn't have sold for more than a thousand dollars at most and a lot of wasted life and life experiences so before i get all into this inspirational speech i want to get back to the main point and that is life is not fair if you're watching this video right now you're probably a lot more blessed than a lot of people in this world so sometimes you're just looking in the wrong direction Sometimes you gotta stop looking at the people better than you and look at all the people who are worse than you. And just having a computer to watch this video puts you ahead of a lot of people because there's a lot of people who don't own computers and that's a heck of a lot more than the amount that do own computers. And the thing is, if you don't get anything else from this video, just know, know this. Um, Seize the moment and do whatever you can to get ahead because life was not made to be fair. Life wasn't made so that every child was born with equal opportunities. And there's so many different things. In fact, uh, if you want, leave a comment below and list some additional things because there's millions of things that might give you an advantage the moment you're born even or a disadvantage. And yeah life just gets a lot harder so um this is an excuse that a lot of people probably make and i have made quite a deal in the past and it's just that you know what i'm going to make the excuse that life gave me lemons while it, it didn't give anyone else lemons and that's why i am behind right now and woe is me this is my tragic tale and there's nothing i can do about it never use that as an excuse never say that life was unfair to you and so you had more disadvantages than other people and that is why you can't get ahead but here is the list of a few things right off the top of my head improv you have a natural genius ability smarts brains maybe you're very good at math maybe you're a prodigy at music or maybe you have a disadvantage and you were born with no eyesight or broken legs or just some sort of very minor chronic disease that might put you behind because you have to spend a few hours a day maybe a few minutes a day to go to your bathroom and possibly inject yourself with needles to cure the thing diabetes maybe and what else you could be broke the moment you were born because your parents abandoned you and you were sent to a orphanage I mean that's that's better than being broke and having to live on your own from the moment you're born or you could be very very rich and have a lot of connections the moment you were born or you can be at the bottom of your social ladder or at top of your social ladder or you could have connections with your social circle or you have no social circle because you have no friends or like me you could just be a loser and make videos on YouTube but it's not making you any money and you realize you're too stupid to do anything else. Uh, honestly, that's that's not completely true. I mean, I, I, I'm going to college right now, so don't, don't look down on me too much. But there's so many things, as you can see, that can give you an advantage or a disadvantage. And in fact, what I've seen is a lot of people who are the most successful at what they do now, they start off with a tremendous disadvantage. Maybe they don't have Let's use YouTube for example. They don't have the video recording equipment or the money to buy that or any of the software. And it's just their passion for it and their dedication and possibly just due to the fact that they're behind that has spurred them to, to grow this passion that a lot of people who are ahead never attain because they, they were born ahead. And it's this passion that drives them to maybe one day make money off YouTube videos and then use that money to buy better recording software or editing software and then grow their channel. And if you're like PewDiePie and you're a gaming channel, then, then you have money now to buy 
new games that your fans want and it just snowballs from there and now you are ahead when before you were behind other people so uh, before i go on to a 30 minute spiel because trust me if you've seen some of my videos i can and those were edited down from like an hour okay before i go into like a 30 minute spiel because no one's going to watch that but maybe one day when i have more time i'll do one of those but before I do that, I just want to end with this. Um, life is not made to be fair. When you, from the moment you're born and throughout life, you will be given advantages and disadvantages and people will use maybe underhanded means or just special means that may not be underhanded or immoral, but just more advantageous to them to get ahead and ahead of you. And it, that's just life. Sometimes it's boil down to someone having a genetic advantage over you and sometimes you just gotta accept it and you have to realize these are the cards I've been dealt the game is stacked in my favor but it is winnable it's still winnable you just have to figure out how to win it and sometimes it comes down to hard work dedication and just the passion to do something and the willingness to put in the time so um, I don't know where I pulled this inspirational speech from in my head because I was not in the mood earlier today. But I, I, I have a feeling there's, there's a possible reason because I did get into a little bit of a minor fight with my mom. And um, I guess there's the inspiration for my story. I hope you enjoyed this inspirational sort of motivational speech for you. Um, leave a comment below if you want on anything from advice for me on anything in my life or advice to other people or other stuff you can extrapolate from what I've said because I'm sure there's a lot more things you could put into a lot more detail that could help a lot more people out. I hope you guys like this motivational speech. Like, rate, comment, and most importantly, subscribe if you're not. If you want more, it's completely free. Hit the button below. I'll see you guys later. This has been Will, and I will be gone now.